wind-up key for our um, ballerina she's like a dead ballerina she's wind up like a doll so we're gonna use these materials to make our wind-up key so you're gonna flatten that out and use something circular um, I use something small because I wanted my key to be kind of small so I use this to trace my circle you're gonna make your first circle towards the edge so it's that way it's just easier to cut and then the next one's gonna overlap right on top of it so you'll see right here how I do that um, that way when you cut it out it kind of has that like um, indented kind of cool looking uh like a key like an old vintage key so we're gonna cut that out and then you're gonna take your toilet paper roll and make some markings because what you can do is you're gonna cut um you're gonna cut like down here so that you can stick this inside the toilet paper roll so it kind of it becomes like one piece so you're gonna go ahead and cut that out this is how I cut it. Did you guys like that intro? Wasn't it awesome? Shout out to Babe. He did a wonderful job. <laughs> so, all right. So here we're going to cut it. We're going to cut it. You're going to see how it looks. And then you're going to use this to put it inside of the roll. And then now we're going to make some cuts to put in um, your elastic band, which is going to go around your waist or wherever you're going to put your key. I suggest obviously your back because that's where dolls have their wind up keys. So I'm going to, this is just me putting the elastic in. Obviously, you're going to want it to um, sit flat on your back. That way, the key doesn't move around. It looks, you know, the way it's supposed to. So, um, I wanted to paint it gold, but I didn't have my gold paint. So, I went ahead and used a purple, like uh, like a metallic paint that was purple. And um, this is all, obviously, like, super easy. You can do this, like, on the day of. Like, this is, like, your last minute. I don't know what to be for Halloween. You can make this little cute key, and then you can be anything that's a doll, you know? So, um, you can wear whatever you want with it, but I decided to be a ballerina since I used to dance. So, I didn't buy anything new, really. All I did was just, like, get, like, a, a, a tutu from the, dollar, from the dollar store, from the thrift store. So, here, I'm just going to paint everything. I know that this may look kind of crazy if you have a dirty mind. So just don't have a dirty mind. You know, just think it's a key. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to paint the whole thing. I let it dry for about an hour or so. So if you're getting ready for Halloween on Monday, then maybe just make sure you start it in the morning or something like that. So here's what your key, you know, looks like. And then now I'm going to, I wanted to put some cute little, like, this, like you know, some cool um, decor on it. So I'm using these little flowers that I painted with a different. And this is what your key looks like. So isn't that super cute? So now we're going to get into the makeup process of it. I wanted to show you just quickly how I did my skull. Um, I am not a makeup artist. I don't consider myself a makeup artist. I'm just showing you how I would do my makeup if I was going to do this skull. So, um, yeah, I did a skull for me and Nick uh, two years ago. We were like the roaring 20s. And it was like half our face skull and half our face just like normal. So um, I decided since I was comfortable doing a skull, I would do it again this year for the for this look. So here I'm just kind of bolding on my brows. I'm not going to spend time showing you guys every single step just because I'm sure most of you know how to do your makeup. And there's tons of other bloggers on here that do makeup. So I'm quickly showing you what I do. And then um, I'm just I'm going to try to list all the products that I use down below. That way I'm not sitting here like, and now I'm going to use, you know, so you kind of just get the idea of what I'm doing. Um, I wanted like maximum coverage, so I go ahead and bounce that all over chapstick, and then I'm going to show you what I did for my eyes. Again, I'm not a makeup artist, so I just decided to do something messy, something fun that I could be like, you know, um, I did this for Halloween, and it came out dirty and messy, and I was going for that look. <laughs> so, um, because I'm having such dark eyes, and I'm going to create shadows and highlights and everything, um, I'm just concealing here everywhere that I want to want to stand out. Um, I love this concealer. It's so good. But again, I'll list it down below because I don't remember the name of it right now, but it's from Maybelline. So, I'm using my Beauty Blender to um, pat that out. And then after that, we're going to do our eye makeup. I'm going to do like a, like a black um, blown out smoky eye. I had no black eyeshadow, guys, so I have to use an eyeliner. 
So here we go. I'm just using like a regular brown eyeshadow to just put in the crease for like, you know, to define it and everything um, and just to create some depth. So I'm bringing it down the bridge of my nose just so I can create like a like a like a harsh shadow there. And I am using warm, warm um, eyeshadows. I could have used cool ones, but I ended up just looking like really muddy and dirty and stuff. So I was like, I was okay with that look. I was like going for that. So um, you could use cool tone shadows and make make it look like more mummified. But I was going for like this like dirty kind of look. So I used a lot of warm shadows to um make me look dirty <laughs> so here i'm just very um harshly trying to blend out that eyeliner this is literally just eyeliner and then i took a really really dark brown shadow with a smudger brush and then um try to smudge it out and then i did the same thing for the bottom um just with a brown shadow and i also took an orange shadow to smudge down there and now for my um my dead contour i'm using just a combination of really dark brown eyeshadows to create that really really harsh um contour there just so i can you know have some defined dead cheekbones um the camera died so i ended up doing half my face and then i was showing you guys this other half of the face i'm doing a little bakage over there so i can clean that up using a white eyeshadow now to um just bring a little highlight so that it pops a little bit more you can see the difference there and then i'm doing the same thing for under my jaw so that you know it kind of like cuts out and everything and then for the, as far as uh for the mouth i just took that same black eyeliner i used for my mouth and just made um lines going straight down my lips both of them and then i filled it in with a white eyeliner and then i took um my brush and started smudging the top of the teeth that way it just looked kind of messy like it, it looked like not intentional like i wasn't trying to make it perfect so i did that um, unfortunately for me my mouth ended up looking better with my lips like closed like this so for pictures and videos i ended up just like kind of standing like this so um yeah which kind of sucked for me but you know i was i was i just went with it and then as far as the nose i'm just showing you a little outline with eyeshadow first and then i'm gonna go in with the same eyeliner fill it in and then just to create a little highlight on my nose i use the same white eyeliner to put it on there just because my nose naturally has some highlight on there so i didn't want to lose like that touch um and then I'm also going to do my collarbones, so I will show you guys that once I finish my highlight on the bridge here. So, you see, I already did the other one, so you see how I really popped it out there. So, I just kind of started hollowing my body and just finding out where the hollows of my uh, my chest were. And really, really just putting that brown eyeshadow in there, just like, girl, I was just, I was getting in there. You can see right here. <laughs> so, I was just trying to make it as popped out as possible. I wanted to really make it defined. So that um, you can really see that bone coming out. And I also put it like in the middle where my um, my throat is. And then again, I use the same white eyeshadow that I used for my uh, my cheekbone. And put it in that area in the middle there. That's the Morphe 350 palette. The matte one, which I love. So yeah, I'm using that. And then the other one from the Urban Decay palette. And putting that right there. That one has like a little bit of shimmer. So it's kind of cute. And then I think that's it as far as the makeup goes. Yeah, I'm going to show you how I did my hair too. Because I put some like white in my hair again this is all last minute Halloween tutorial so if you got dry shampoo girl you got this I use dry shampoo because you know when you spray dry shampoo in it you spray it really, really close it comes out white if you get like the natural I mean not the natural if you get like the original one well I use the Batiste one so all I did was just split my hair how I wanted it to and then I made a low bun because ballerinas normally have buns so I made it you know usually it's like on the side or at the top but I wanted to make it like a side low one. So I just took my little short hair and I pinned the hair that was like kind of coming out. And then I took the rest of it and kind of fanned it out just for like a, you know, a cool look, whatever. So here I am spraying the dry shampoo. Obviously, I do not have hair dye. This is what I have at home. So if you got these materials, you can definitely recreate this. Um, all I want to do was just like cover up my roots just so that I kind of gave, you know, my face a little bit more of a highlight, kind of made it more pop out. I don't know. I just wanted to be creepy. So here's what that looks like. I think it looks really, really cool. I was super excited about it. And um, yeah, if you want to see uh, photos or anything about how this whole thing turned out, go to my blog on Monday or go to Instagram. And then um, that's it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed my first Halloween video. I look forward for next year. And please like and subscribe, share it. What do you want to do? Leave me some feedback. Leave me some comments. And that's it, guys.